Oh, howdy all, grab yourself a beer, it's time for some Path of Exile discussion. Today I want to talk about Doriani's Machinarium. This is a map that is likely to be, for most players, the very last map that they get on their Atlas of Worlds. I want to talk about how you go about sourcing it, and the easiest way to source it, as well as the hard way to source it. So firstly, Doriani's Machinarium itself is not a very difficult map. Most players will find that this is reasonably in line with other tier 16 maps in order difficulty to complete, whereas there are some other maps on the Atlas, like Coward's Trial, that are meaningfully harder than a normal map of the same tier, especially Hallowed Ground and Putrid Cloister can be pretty dangerous. Doriani's Machinarium is not like that. It is a medium difficulty unique map. It's harder than Maelstrom of Chaos, but it's probably more in line with Malkoon if you're familiar with that map. So it's not very difficult to actually complete. The hard part is getting your hands on the map at all. Now there was a huge price spike in this yesterday when the announcement of Kirax Vault happened, and it seemed like some smart person decided to buy up the entire market and then relist the maps higher. I think they actually might have got burned on that. I don't think they made all that much currency because the price has fallen back pretty fast on this map. And there's a reasonably large amount of supply of it for the three and a quarter, three and a half exalt range. So you should be able to pick it up in trade for that sort of price. It's about an exalt more than it was yesterday. However, uh, maybe you don't want to spend a whole bunch of currency on a map that's going to give you very little in the way of returns. And if that's the case, what I want to do is talk quickly about the things on your atlas that you can do uh, in order to maximize your chances of getting a bound to character substitute for Doriani's Machinarium that will actually allow you to get it completed on your atlas. Additionally, it will also work for your entire party. And so these nodes are worth your while considering. So Kirax missions can offer a number of unique maps in the game, but by default, they are unable to offer Doriani's Machinarium. They're also unable to offer the Beachhead at least to the best of our knowledge. This is the way we believe that they work. However, once you have allocated Planar Tactician, you will have a 20% chance for any of Kirak's scouting reports that drop in an area to instead be upgraded to a comprehensive scouting report. So this is only one fifth of your scouting reports and scouting reports are pretty uncommon drops. I think I get a scouting report roughly every five maps. So you can expect to get a comprehensive scouting report maybe once every 25 maps. However, you're probably not gonna need many of them with this strategy. By allocating Planar Tactician, you will also get 3% chance for Kirak Mission Replenish upon killing a map boss, which is also very useful. Once you've done that, you're probably also going to want to allocate Expert Reconnaissance. These two together are an 80% more multiplier on the amount of Atlas Scouting Reports that drop. And then you will also want to pick up Commissioned Officer, which will give you access to more Kirak missions as well. Once you've done this, you're going to want to farm using, these mission, using this Master Mission Replenish, you're going to want to farm a couple of yellow maps and a couple of white maps until you have at least one Kirak mission in each category. So you want at least one white tier Kirak mission saved up, at least one yellow tier, and then at least one red tier. After that, uh, just simply use a comprehensive scouting report and check Kirak's missions. You are not guaranteed to get a Doriani's Machinarium when you use a comprehensive scouting report, but the odds are reasonably okay when you do so. And you'll find that if you do this a few times, you will get your hands on a Doriani's Machinarium master mission. So this will be a Kirak mission that will send you into Doriani's Machinarium. This is not something you can trade to other players, although you can make an arrangement where they join you in the map, they get credit for it, and they give you something in exchange for that if you want. The easiest way to negotiate a deal like that is usually in the uh, in-game chat channel Trade 820. But whether you do it yourself or whether you bring friends along or whether you bring along a paying passenger, this will give everyone that is in the party at the moment the Doriani's Machinarium boss dies credit for having completed the map. You never need to have one of the tradable versions of Doriani's Machinarium in your inventory. You never need to trade for one of them or do anything more. The reason that you want to have a white tier and a yellow tier master mission as well as a red tier is so that there's just more possibilities for the Kirak missions. It does seem that you can get Doriani's Machinarium as a tier 5 or tier 10 this way, as well as as a tier 16. And so it is definitely advantageous to have those extra master missions there. That's really all I've got to say about Doriani's Machinarium. By default, it drops from Ahutotli the Blind in the Dell of Mines, but most of the ones that will exist and most people that get this completed on their Atlas will do it through Planar Tactician or will do it through trading from other players for comprehensive scouting reports instead. It's just simply the easiest way to get there. Lastly, you don't need to connect your Atlas exactly the way I've done here. You just need to take the relevant nodes. This is the essential part. These are the luxury additions that will make the process quicker. All you need to do is take those nodes or at least these four, and then you'll be able to use this strategy. 
the rest of the atlas can be connected however you want. And so if you're connecting in via a completely different method, then keep, keep with that, whatever works for you. May all of us have interesting results and hopefully you have fun getting your atlas completed.